Hey YouTube, Cine Steve back with another video. And uh, I've got a new backdrop today, which I think it might work quite well because um, I've got somewhere to put stuff really. <laughs> I could put stuff on there and uh, keep it on display, but I'm gonna keep trying to chuck everything on the sofa once, I'm, uh, once I've done up that end. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got a huge bundle of Amiga pickups. Um, I'm not going to dwell too much on each game. I might put a bit of gameplay up on a few of the games I've got nostalgia for because there's a few games in here that I've been after for quite a long time and then there's a ton of others which um, are all towards the Psygnosis and Ocean set but I'm going to start off with the, the Gifted game first which I've absolutely no nostalgia for but really grateful, literally didn't have to do it and that's uh, Scott Brand gave me Campaign 2 which it's not really my sort of game but I, I don't think I've ever seen a box, a mega box so big um, I will give it a go. I'll give it a try. See if it see if it boots and loads and whatnot. I never get rid of uh, get rid of gifts or anything like that. So uh, massive thanks to Scott Brand for that, and also a massive thanks goes to Scott Brand for another bundle I picked up. And this was probably about six weeks ago now. Um, I found it on Facebook, and it was over in I think it was Cla was it Clacton on Sea or Frinton on Sea, one of those up sort of. Essex, top, sort of top of Essex or, or Norfolk way. Norfolk? Yeah, North or Suffolk. I, I get a bit mixed up, East Anglia. East Anglia way. And uh, I sort of asked Scott the question, like, sort of, how far are you away from them? Because uh, the guy didn't really want to post them. And uh, Scott said, like, that, I think it was about 45 minutes to an hour away. And I said, oh, like, don't worry about it. Do you know what I mean? It's miles away. You don't want to do that. He's like, no, 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 no. I'll pick it up. Like, done me enough favours and all that. And I was like, well, I said, if you don't mind. And I know he got stuck in a lot of traffic doing it, so massive thanks, Scott. You, honestly, you didn't have to do it. And uh, he picked the bundle up. Um, I don't think it was that much, was it? About 60, 70 quid, something like that. Um, and again, it's that sort of bundle that I've, I've actually sold everything I didn't want out of it and, and uh, yeah, made money on it. So all this stuff is actually free. I say all this stuff, I've kept about four or five, was that four games, I think. And... Uh, I mean, Scott, like I say, he was sending me loads of pictures. He was cleaning it all up. And I was like, Scott, you don't have to do that. Like, you're taking all my fun away. But what a legend. Absolute top guy, Scott Van. Go and check him out. Sega Zombie. Um, but the first game is uh, Enlightenment Druid 2. Now, this game here, anything by Firebird, it always sort of gets my attention. Um, it's the old BT company. <laughs> they own Firebird. Um, yeah, anything published by Firebird, it's... Uh, I don't know, it just, the, the publisher holds quite a lot of nostalgia for me, not just for the Amiga, but for the C64. And um, it's actually quite a cool little game. It's a bit, it's a little bit like Gauntlet. Um, I mean, unbelievably, like a lot of these games, I've been quite lucky actually, because a lot of the games was in actually quite poor condition, like they wasn't stored very well. Um, but I've been really lucky that everything that I've tried and wanted working did, and they've cleaned up really nicely. So that's, uh, Enlightenment Druid 2. Um, then we've got this one here, which is race driving. Tengen Domark game, which is a little bit of a dent in the box there, but it's that's a, a bit of solid seven, pretty, pretty nice nick. Um, it's not a game I was really after, but anything sort of uh, Tengen, anything sort of arcade related. And it's not, a, it's not really a bad game, to be fair. Not too bad at all, and in pretty, pretty good nick. Um, this was the one I really had my eye on, and it's Flight the Amazon Queen, LucasArts game. It's not LucasArts, oh, it's a renegade game, but it is a uh, point and click adventure that's uh, really highly rated. Comes on a ton of discs. Um, luckily, as, as I was saying about the way they were stored, anything that seems to be in plastic bags seems to obviously protect the discs and all holds up well. Um, all the manual and everything's there. Box is upside down though. I'll we'll sort that out now. But yeah, quite a quite a desirable title. Um, it's supposed to be a, a really decent Amiga game, and that's sort of why I've kept it. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably about a 40, 50 quid game on its own right there. So happy with that. And the condition's not too bad to be fair. It's cleaned up really nicely. Um, there is some edge wear to it, but overall. It's in pretty nice shape. So yeah, that's uh, that's probably going to be a keeper. So 
up with that one and this one I had my eye on. And this one is one I've been after and it's Aquaventura, which I've heard is not supposed to be the best side gnosis game. I mean, again, I was talking to Mr. Bad at the weekend. He says that probably sort of half of the side gnosis stuff isn't amazing, but I just can't go wrong with the box art and just the whole the whole package. Um, this one had a bit of creasing in the corner um, and it's missing like the insert. Oh no, it's not missing the insert. Oh, I thought it was. It's actually in the other way. And I don't think I've done that, so uh, I've obviously overlooked that. So yeah, all the holes in there. I know a lot of people actually do these to sort of protect the protect it from sort of caving in when you put everything on there. So uh, yeah, really happy with that. I know that that's, uh, I don't think it's a particularly expensive game. I've seen it go for around 30, 40 quid, but as I say, those four games right there have literally cost me nothing thanks to uh, a good mate, Sadie Zombie. Massive thanks to. Right, so from one Retro Realm admin to another Retro Realm admin, um, Lee Formley this bundle came from. Again, it was Sega Zombie that tipped me off that he had a massive, a massive um, purchase of, I think he sort of bought out like a seller, like a business shop, and ended up with a, a crazy amount of games. And he had a, a big load of Amiga games. And uh, I sent him a list and he's, he's come back to me with uh, what he had and a price. And it, yeah, it was, the price was pretty good, so uh, I sort of pulled the trigger on it. Um, unfortunately, a lot of these, a lot of these ones from this from this bundle, I don't know too much about, so I'm just going to sort of reel, reel them off. And it's uh, Matrix Marauders, again another uh, Psygnosis or Cyclops release. So happy to have that one. Let's put that there and stack them up. Um, Carthage, Carthage, Carthage. Not very good with my fizz, but. All working. I've, tri I've tried all these. I mean, they didn't all work first time, but I've got them all working. And it's all complete. This one's probably one of the worst condition ones, actually, because it's a little bit squashed. I've really got to get rid of uh, some of these stickers as well. I'm guessing they might have been like old price labels. And then another Psygnosis, Amnios. Again, don't know much. Well, I don't know anything about this. At all, and I've tried them. I've tried them to boot, and uh, as I say, all all working. This one I actually thought was a smaller box, um, but no, it's a big box. Cytron. Every time I've seen this, like on auction, I thought it was a smaller box, like a medium-sized box. But again, all complete, all in really nice nick. So I'm really sort of put a dent in with the uh, Cygnosis collection with uh, with this bundle. Next one is uh, Codename Hellfire, and this is uh, Armageddon 2, oh yeah, it says it right there, Armageddon 2. Don't know if I'm actually showing these a bit too close, but again, this, this one's actually in really, really nice condition. So, uh, happy with that. Um, might as well stick with side note. Is this the last side note? Going, it is, yeah, in this bundle anyway. And this is uh, Theatre of Death. Again, no, absolutely nothing about this. It looks a bit like Desert Strike or something. I'm not sure. No idea. I've, as I say, tested them in the boot, but didn't actually play them. So yeah, really happy with uh, with that Psygnosis bundle. Um, and also a few uh, Ocean games in, in this bundle as well. First one being A-Train, which I know is definitely not my sort of game, but... It was very popular on the Amiga. I'll just put that, let's pin that back on. Next one being Adam's Family. This one, again, isn't in the best condition. It's a little bit sort of concaved, if you like. Got a bit of squish into it. But it's, it's not bad, I mean, it's all working. The back's worse than the front. Quite a good, quite a good title to get. Love the artwork on the side of it. And I know that this, uh, this version's not as good as the ST version, which had a lot more detail in the background. But it's, it's not a bad platform. I've actually played that probably more than any of the other games in this uh, in this little bundle. Next up is Hook, which is not what I thought it was going to be. This is a bit like a bit of a point and click adventure, which I didn't think it I thought it was just going to be an action platformer. I mean, I haven't even de-stickered this one yet. 
but yeah, I'll, I'll check it out, see if it's any good. And then this last one, okay, I don't know what's going on with this. The last three ocean games, all a little bit squashed on the top. I mean, the packaging was good, but literally, I mean, this one's actually the worst one of the whole, of the whole pickups, I would say. I mean, it's got a bit of uh, edge wear there. But that's Cool World, which I've always quite liked the uh, look of this game. The graphics, the cartoon graphics, it's a bit sort of uh, Roger Rabbit style -y. But yeah, I'll we'll definitely give that a go. So again, that's uh, another four ocean games off the list. Um, and it's like, no, I've got more ocean and, and side Moses games in this in this big bundle or in this big pickups video. And the last one was uh, Double Dragon 3 on the uh, on the Amiga from Lee Formley. Um, can't really remember how much this bundle cost me. I know it was over £100. I think it was about 140 something like that. Something It was something like that. It wasn't a bad deal. It was, I think it worked out about 12 quid a game, which for some of them Psygnosis games, it, I, I think it was a good deal. Um, this one was missing the manual. This was the only one missing the manual out of, uh, out of all of them. But I've got, I've got all of them now. I've got all the Double Dragons. So uh, that's one little set done. Okay, so let's move ocean games I could just put them down here never like stacking games too high end up doing more damage than good right so what have we got next um I'll tell you what we'll go over to this bundle because this is a really a really nice bundle um a couple of eBay purchases um what happened uh best offers that's what they were best offers I, I believe I put 20 quid each on them and Accepted straight away, posted, and they come in jiffy bags. Which, when I saw them, obviously I was, I was like, "What have they done? These are going to be wrecked." Because they was in like really nice condition, and opened them up, and they were still in fantastic uh, condition. So I was, I was really happy, and I, I went back to the, back to the seller. I said, "Look, I don't know if you're listing any more games like this, but if you do, just put them in boxes because." Um, I say I've, I've been lucky, but if, if somebody, if one of them gets squashed, you're just going to be giving out refunds. Um, and they come back to me and said, oh, thanks, sort of thanks for the advice. Because obviously I wasn't funny about it, I wasn't rude about it, it was just a bit of a, bit of advice. And um, they said, well, we've actually got quite a few more games we're listing. And I was like, oh, I like what you've got, as I do. And sent them my number and they sent me uh, quite a few pictures and, and everything and, and, and prices. I mean, it was, so I paid 20 quid each for these and then the others... They were a tenner each, and there's some absolute bargains in here. But this was the first one I saw on eBay. And that's Infestation. Fantastic condition. If all my games came like this, I'd be really happy. I say all complete, all working. Stunning, stunning condition, that one. God, these are really building up now. And then this one I was even happier with. And that's awesome. A bit like a, I believe it's like an asteroids. I mean, isn't it? Something like that. I will give that. I love these long boxes. It doesn't come with a t-shirt. I didn't expect it to. Although looking at how like, well looked after they are. I believe it's all the long boxes I've got now. Oh, I don't think there's any more. Put the box back on. So yeah, that's awesome. Really, really happy with that. It's in stunning condition. And I say these other games, I um, I actually went and picked them up because it was over in West London, and uh, I thought, yeah, bug it. Like, don't want to go with postage. Let's just take up my jiffy bags again. Um, I went and collected them. So what have we got first? We've got Road Blasters. Again, arcade port. I'm an absolute sucker for them, and fantastic condition. All of these games in really nice condition because I actually picked up a few more of them and uh, sort of sold sold them on. I know I've done uh, Pete a deal on a few. Um, and we've got Gremlin game BSS Jane Seymour, which this is actually quite highly rated. I don't know too much about it, but because it's Gremlin, I have to have it, and I know it usually goes for around 20 30 quid. So, in this condition, I was never going to say no. Uh, what have we got next? I know I've owned these before, but not in this sort of condition. Eye the Beholder. I say fantastic. I'm not going to keep saying it, but it's in really nice condition. And the second one, 
I had a beholder too. So I used to have quite a few of the data discs for these, but I've sort of got rid of them because it's not my sort of game. But a lot of people say, I know two E's always saying, oh, sort of dungeon crawlers, they're great games. And I will end up with Dungeon Master because of his Psygnosis re released it, which I only found out the other week. Um, I'll be picking that up as well. So I, could, I will give them a go. If, I mean, there's got to be something about them. Then we've got, this was an Elite pack, an Elite compilation with uh, Buggy Boy, Fantastic Game, Ikari Warriors, Beyond the Ice Palace, and what's that last one? Battleships? I mean, I don't know if, I know I've got two of them, four releases. I don't know if the other one's got four releases on the Amiga, but I'm a sucker for the Elite label. Again, Elite, Firebird, anything like that. I'm just so nostalgic about. And this game is one of my good friend Monster Mug's favourite games. He said, I've got to check it out. That's Power Monger. I know I've got it for the Mega Drive. Bit of a Earth Sim. Or God Sim. I'll check it out. Uh, this was one of them I really wanted. Last Ninja 2. It's also highly rated on the C64. I'm not really sure about the Amiga, but I'm okay. Awesome Nick. Um, believe there's something missing out of this. The 3D map I believe missing out of it, which was a bit annoying. And they, they were very honest about it. Um, sure 3D. I'm sure the 3D map is missing between what we've got in here. Got that. Got this. So anyone that's got this game, I mean, I don't really know too much about it, so I'm guessing there's some sort of map in there, which if it's anything like Moonstone is probably half the value. Yeah, Avengers 3D map, not really sure. But this as well, what I really wanted as well, fantastic Rainbow Islands, and it's the, this box variant, like the one I've got has a black border around it, but this, the artwork goes right to the edge. Absolutely awesome. Really happy with that. And it's, it's absolutely minty fresh. Really happy with that. So yeah, that was that bundle. Um, again, I know those cost me 10 quid each and uh, the, the Psygnosis ones were, um, were 20 quid each. So yeah, brilliant, brilliant bundle on that. Let's ping them around here. Cup of Arkanoid. That was the difference on uh, the Rainbow Islands, if anyone that's bothered. Backs are still the same. But yeah, just uh, having both variants. Awesome stuff, love it. Uh, right, now we've got the next bundle, which these came from a guy in Scotland. I believe, again, it was an eBay purchase. I purchased one of them, which I'll save till the end. And then I asked if he had anything else. He said, yes, he's going to be listing them. And we ended up doing a deal outside eBay, which um, it's not a bad deal. I ended up asking for a refund because he said they were a lot nicer than what some of them were. Uh, I've since sold them, them ones, but it's still a good deal. It's 100% it's a good deal, especially as I got a bit of a refund on it to a price I was happy with. Um, first up is Last Ninja, Last Ninja 3, which again, I've I don't know anything really about the last ninjas, even on the C64, as highly rated as they are. Never really played them. But I mean I think everything's in there. Manual discs. Really happy to get that one. And then this one. Elf, which this one seems to go for a bit as well. I mean I don't know too much about the game. I know uh, David Birdsall talks about it. I don't, I don't think, was it the Amiga version you played? I can't remember. I know he's, he's mentioned that a few times. He's very nostalgic about it. Personally, never played it. This port is absolutely awful, but being Capcom and an arcade port, got to have it, and it was really cheap. No instructions on this. They say somebody's put a label on it. I think this was, again, the only one out of this bundle that didn't have instructions, but it's such a cheap game, because um, I pretty much priced them all up individually and said I wouldn't be paying any more for, than a fiver for that one because I had a bit of wear on it but I 
Oh, no, I'll get an upgrade on that at some point, probably in a bundle. Um, Arabian Nights, which this one's actually really highly rated. See, a lot of these games, even though I haven't played many of them, I'm getting them because I know that uh, somebody before us sort of said they're pretty good, and I believe Arabian Nights is uh, is quite highly rated. A bit of a, I wouldn't say hidden gem, but I'll definitely be checking that out. Um, then we've got Turtles, the coin up, which is obviously an arcade port. It is awful, <laughs> it plays absolutely dreadful. Um, but I've got the, the blue box one and now this one, so I think that, that was the only two Turtles games that was released. And again, I always thought that was in a like a medium sized box, but no, that's a full size box on Turtles coin up. But this was the game I got from eBay off, off obviously the same seller as these. Um, again, I don't think it's a bad price. I've seen it, see, it's not one you really see that much, but I know I've seen it go for more, and I believe this was. About, I'm sure it was 45 quid delivered. I'm sure it was. I think he had free delivery on it and I went in at 45 and he just accepted the offer. And it's Jim Power. Pretty nice condition. I would say it's a, a solid... A solid eight, I'd say. Seven and a half, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But it's, it's, again, all there. And it's a game I've been... It's been on my list for a long time. Um, so that's one that... Beeps, Beeps has always talked about it. He's like, oh, Jim Powell, he loves that game. I can't believe it. Because I'd never really heard of it. I'd, I'd heard of it, but never played it. So, oh, it's an Amiga Classic, so I'm really happy to have that in the collection. Um, and yeah, and that was off that seller, and as I say, I, I don't know if it went a bit sour in the end. Again, I was really polite about the condition on some of them. I mean, he, was, he sort of said, oh, they're all like, really nice. And then when I opened some of the box, it, like, I can't remember what the other games were. One was a compilation, and there was a disc missing, and there was all like, like stains inside the box um, Final Fight was even worse than what he said and there, there was Gods as well um, obviously Gods being a slip cover case that is, is really really fragile but it had the wrong box inside the slip cover like it should obviously be a big, big Matt Brothers game but it was in like a tightest box and I was like no I'm not I'm not I want a bit of refund on these and uh, he, he was all right about it but then the very last message I said oh, I hope there's no hard feelings and he just completely blanked it so I don't think he was obviously being Scottish he probably wasn't happy with uh, with giving out refunds but happy in the end um, right now all these games how many have I got left honestly this I know it's been a lot of games but near the end now how many have we got left about seven or eight now all these games none of them were in a bundle I bought all of these separately um all eBay as well, I believe. I'm pretty sure these are all eBay. First one being, I'm not sure if I showed this in the last video, Captain Fizz. I do get confused sometimes. Captain F Fizz uh, meets the Blaster Trons. Now, I did actually give this one a go. It's a bit like Gauntlet in Space, another sort of half Gauntlet clone. There's a price label that's obviously come off somewhere on there. But really nice condition again. Another one off the Cygnosis list. Really happy, really happy with that. Again, about 20 quid, something like that. Um, this one cost me more than what I thought it was going to, and the label I've just taken off that, I just ended up putting it in there, so let's get that out of the way. Paperboy, which I always quite like this pull on the Amiga. Um, again, Elite published it. I've got the, the Encore version, the budget release version. This is the full price release. Um, Again, I think it's about 24 quid. That was more than I thought it was going to go for, to be fair. I didn't, didn't expect to pay that much, but pretty happy with it. Now, this was this was one I couldn't believe I didn't have. Um, but yeah, when I checked my games, it, I didn't have it, and I put in a, uh, a cheeky £5 offer on it, and he accepted it. Um, it's a touch of crease in, in that corner. Again, a pretty bad pulp strider on the Amiga. But really happy. This one was without the manual, but I know I've got a manual for it, so I will uh, locate that down and and chuck that in the box. I do love these Capcom boxes, the, the um, purple boxes. There's a few more I'm after. I know um, I only found out Black Tiger got a purple box release, so I will be getting that as well at some point. Um, this one, I'm sure Mr. Bad said about this one, it's actually quite hard to get hold of, but I've seen a few come up recently, and this one's an absolute minter. Um, under a 10 I delivered this one so really if it's one of the sort of harder ones to get for it's obviously not too desirable 
um, Daley Thompson's Olympic Challenge. And I did give it a bit of a go. It's got nothing on some of the other sort of athletics games on the 8 and 16 bit systems. But as I say, minty game that one. Uh, this was one of my last pickups. Came at the weekend when I was away. Chrono Quest. I know that Big Mike's just uh, got Chrono Quest 2, which is the more common game which I've got up there. Um, but Chrono Quest 1, I believe, is a, is a little bit rarer. Um, cost me a little bit more than, Chrono, than my Chrono Quest 2 cost me. Um, this was, I think, about 25 quid delivered. In fact, nothing was about 30 quid delivered. I'm sure it was about 27 with about 3 quid postage. Uh, but again, another side notice one off the list. I think I'm only down to about, I don't know, about 15 I'm after. Oh, this one, Craig Zero again, Forgotten Worlds. He uh, done me a deal on this over the weekend at the boot of his car. He didn't have much stuff in, uh, he didn't bring much stuff up the Blackpool. But I don't know, this was, this was left in there with a few other Amiga games. But this, uh, I remember Eddie, Roller Corex, he um, sent me a picture when he was at, was it Donny or Nottingham? I think it was Doncaster, and I said I'll get me this, and I swear Eddie just completely forgot, but I knew he had it, and I believe uh, Craig sort of kept it by for me. Right, last two, and then that'll be it, I promise. First one being Mr Nuts, which, again, <laughs> don't know too much about. Fantastic condition, another one off the ocean list. Again, I think I'm only down to about 15 ocean games well, because I've actually done a deal today um, of a few more ocean games and I know I've got a deal running with uh, with Big Mike um, so when we get that sorted I'm sure after that I, I, I'm after about about another 10 to 15 ocean games maybe a few more I'm not sure I think it's around 15 but I'll give that one a go um, and now the very last one which in fact I'll probably be looking for an upgrade on this the slip cover's not as good as I thought it was going to be and it's Worms the director's cut a very late Amiga title in fact, the whole game's a bit ropey, to be fair. I will be looking to upgrade this as part of the Team 17 collection. But yeah, it's got a bit of a dent in the box there. and Yeah, it's pretty... I don't know if you can see that. It's quite scratched up. I'm going to say the, uh, the inner box is uh, pretty stained. But good little game, Worms. I've always, I've always liked Worms, so I'll, I'll be giving that one a go as well. But yeah, that's it. That's all the Amiga pickups. I, I mean, I was going to split them all up, but I mean, what I'll usually do, I'll keep all my pickups to one side, anything new, and then obviously the longer I leave it, the more it stacks up. But to be honest, I just want to sort of get them all out of the way and put them away, and then uh, and then I'll be able to move in my games room. But anyway, until next time, YouTube, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, especially a few, I've had a few new ones lately, so thanks for that. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care and bye for now.